Good day everyone and thank you for tuning into Clean Media Photography. We really appreciate your support. I know that uh, by now that you are watching this video, you already subscribed to the channel. If you have not subscribed, I would strongly advise you to give us your support by clicking the subscribe button and also ring that notification bell so that you, my friend, can receive notifications when we drop more content onto the channel. But today is an exciting day. I'm going to show you how to change this image right here of this baby and you will be getting these kind of results. Ne? So that this shows you that you don't really need to have an expensive uh, backdrop or equipment in your studio. You can achieve this through the process of editing in Photoshop. Thank you. Let's tune it right into it. Yes, good day. Let's get right into it. Um, today, I'm just going to use this picture of this little girl right here. As you can see, this image was uh, captured with a 200D Canon. Uh, it's a 16-bit image. So this is our, our camera roll. So I'm just going to do minor adjustments here just to lighten up the, the image and correct the white balance as I want. Remember, <coughs> your white balance doesn't have to look like mine. You can um, change and alter it the way you want. Uh, what I'm doing here is just my preferences. Uh, this is my before, this is my after. As you can see, the image is a little bit lighter. Uh, so that when I take it uh, straight to Photoshop, this is the background I'm going to use. So I'm loading this image. Uh, and then I'm going to... Uh, what I do, it's a, it's a, a, I select the subject. Then I separate the subject from this background. Then I take the subject to the other background to manipulate and have the two images uh, blended together. So the first thing that I do is, uh, before I could do anything, I clean up uh, this uh, background of mine. So I'm just gonna forward uh, this process because it's, it's a little bit time consuming. Okay, I'm back again. When I'm when you are done uh, cleaning up the background, I will use this uh, select subject. Uh, the newer versions of Photoshop have got the select subject option on them, so it's easy. You just say click, and then uh, you click to select it to select the subject automatically. But sometimes the selections are not perfect. Perfect. You will have to go through and alter them so that you can have a perfect selection. So what you need to do, because you cannot see when the image is far, you need to just zoom in a little bit and then add the, your selection to the subject. There you go. Add your selection to the subject so that you don't find yourself uh, selecting into the skin because it will look weird when you start uh, your, your process of manipulation. So you can see here, it selected an extra area. So you go to this uh, select uh, subject, choose the minus, and then you go over there, subtract your selection, and have it selected like that. So you can still add your selection here. And then you can press Q to see what you have missed, what you have selected, what you didn't. I like to zoom into these corners. I choose my brush tool. Uh, you can, you see this side, you can just choose your brush whether uh, black or white. Remember black hide, white reveals. See, it reveals the selection. So I put it on black. I just press X. It will turn to black and then I select. And then if I want to deselect something that has, has been selected before or your selection has went over to the skin like here on this ear, I just choose my brush and bring it to the white. Reveals. Remember white reveals, black hides. Then I, 
I reveal the selection just like that easy steps then you check your dress if everything has been selected well uh, I'm not gonna be very 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 precise I'm just doing this for your own uh, tutorial guys remember you need to take your time and make sure that you have a perfect selection because you want to deliver a product that is is, is, is clean to your client and you need to to do it right you need to take your time and make sure that your selection is good i press q this is how my selection looks if it was someone with hair you know it's difficult to select hair on a subject you are going to do uh, uh, select and then you go to uh, select and mask and then refine the hair so but for now for me this is fine i'm just going to separate the subject there. now i have the subject without the background meaning i can add the background there so let's go to the background this is our background that we want to use so we want to manipulate this to have this baby on it so what do we do we take this image we drag it to this one then it will be there it is then you just zoom out so that you can see how your image looks then the image is a bit bigger then you zoom it back boom there it is okay let me do let me select it again so that i make sure i cover remember guys there is no rule or law on this on how you want to put your background it's up to you this is some of the digital backdrops that I have on my website at Clean Media Photography. You can go and check uh, my website, guys. Um, you can be able to download more of this uh, digital backdrop. Uh, after this video, I'm going to leave this uh, backdrop for you guys to practice and be able to edit and uh, also get the same results that I'm doing so that you can be able also follow along, okay? there is the subject so here is my background i unlock it i select my background and the subject i press ctrl t to highlight the subject so that i can position where i want it to be but look there's something wrong here the background looks smaller the baby looks bigger so i would rather go and adjust the background to make it a little bit bigger so that it looks more realistic so that the the baby is sitting nice and looks more realistic. I can also increase the size of the baby. There we go. Ah, nice. Okay, there you go. Then there we have our baby, but this doesn't look real. The baby is floating. So what can I do to, 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 to make this image look real? So there is what we call blend modes blend modes they are here you see now it's on normal i would rather take my background and use a blend mode called soft light soft light will bring back all those reflections uh, all those shadows that were already there on the image you see then i just need to fill this space there we go wow content away so that we can have the same thing remember guys there's a lot of ways to do this this is just my way of doing it uh, i'm not saying this is the only way so if it gets your results then do it then i can reduce the opacity of the original backdrop because it's not what i'm looking for to bring back the color of the, the 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 this backdrop you see now i've added some contrast and i can brighten uh, this uh, subject a little bit by taking the mid tones up so that it's not dark and then i have something like this and i can still use a skin finer to make the baby skin softer i have a video where i talk about the skin finer and how it works it's on my channel please check it out as well 
then you can use it to work on your skin and your skin tones it's a quicker way of doing it normally i would i would rather use frequency separation but this one is a quicker way to do it remember you are not working on one image you work on a lot of images your client is waiting and uh, they are not patient they just want to see their 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 things ready okay there we go and then i use recharge ultimate recharge panel i can color grade my image to make it blend in you can color grade anyhow you want not too much i i don't want to add too much of that there before and after there we go <sighs> so this is it guys as you can see the image now is done uh there's a lot that you can still do but i would rather stop here because uh, this is only how to show you how to put your, your 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 subject to the background and it still looks real and you still have those shadows the reflection uh, make sure that when you shoot you have that reflection so that you can bring it in in the the final images uh, thank you so much guys for tuning in for watching this tutorial uh, please go and follow me on instagram uh, my handle is clean media photography and i also have a page called clean media photography 3 please follow those two pages i'm posting uh, uh, different types of work there so follow them so that you can see uh, next time when i drop some content uh, like and comment and uh, also go to my website to view so that you can get all these digital backdrops uh, for yourself um, i do post for free some are for sale some are free okay so for this one it's on the this link on the description please go and download and and try out your images when you're done please post your images here so that we can see what you have achieved thank you so much we really appreciate your support